Let's talk a bit about neuroscience, how the brain works. Now, the brain is made up of specialized cells called neurons that transmit electrical signals. So I've got a drawing of a neuron here on the board. It's got the cell body with the nucleus in the center, and off the back end it has extensions called dendrites. And then off the front end it has a long extension called the axon, ending in the axon terminal. Now these neurons um, act essentially like the body's electrical wiring system, although it's more like a bunch of little wires laid end to end. So each neuron is its own wire. So there would be one neuron here, another neuron in front of it, and another neuron overpass behind it. And so what we have with this electrical system for the body is we have two types of signals. First, there's the signal within the neuron, getting from one end to the other, transmitting a signal. And this is done via an electrical signal. But then there's also the signal from one between two neurons, from one neuron to the next. And that space between the two neurons is called a synapse. And so the signal that goes across that space, across that synapse, is a chemical signal. And a tiny chemical called a neurotransmitter goes from one neuron to the other. And it tells the next neuron whether to turn on or off. The important thing for a neuron is that it wants to either be on or off. But it's just a cell. It's not like a wire or a switch. How is it on or off? Well, it does this using ions. So if you remember from chemistry, if an atom has two more electrons than protons, if it's too many electrons, it takes on a negative charge, and we call it an anion. But if it has too few electrons, it takes a positive charge, it becomes a cation. And these ions are something we deal with all the time. So table salt is made up of sodium and chloride. So the sodium is a positive ion, while the chloride is a negative ion. And so these two ions are together in salt, and then when you dissolve it in water, the ions go free. And so, in, this, in the neuron cells, in order to get a signal, they use something called electric potential. And electric potential is essentially the difference in charge across a membrane. So where one side is more positive and one side is more negative. And so, essentially what the neuron tries to do is when it's turned off, it has more negative charge. And then when it turns on, it has a lot more positive charge. And so this is how the cell knows whether it's on or off. Uh, whether there's more negative charge or positive charge. So the neuron is set up like this. So on the bottom, we have what's inside the cell. While here on the top, we have what's outside the cell. So inside the cell, we have some positive potassium ions, which are the K+, and then we have the protein, which is all negatively charged. And then outside the cell, we have sodium ions, which are positively charged, and chloride ions, which are negatively charged. And none of these can pass through this membrane directly because of the charge that they have on them. So they're stuck on one side or the other. And so this is a neuron in its resting state when it's off. And so to turn it on, we need the inside to become more positive. So the sodium is going to go through special ch um, proteins called channels that provide a path for it through the membrane. And so, the sodium goes from being out on the outside through the channel into the inside, making the inside more positive. And so when a bunch of this happens, when a bunch of sodium comes in, the inside becomes much more positive, and that's how the neuron knows that it's on. And then when the neuron is turning off, the sodium goes back outside, restoring the neuron to its previous state. And in order to emphasize the signal, to make sure the neuron knows, no, you're really off now, potassium, this K+, plus, will also exit the cell for a bit. And so for a little while, the inside of the cell becomes even more negative than it is when it normally rests. And so this difference in negative and positive charge is how the cell knows whether it's on or off. 